Since I started writing for Make, I've seen a lot of awesome things that I want to blog about. There are so many of you awesome makers out there that make lots of awesome stuff. It's just really awesome. My problem comes in when I'm writing and the only word I can think of to describe something is awesome. Now of course, I could pull out a thesaurus, but I figured I'd have a little bit more fun with it and hack something together. So I built an awesome button. Plug it into the USB port of your computer, and while you're writing, if you want to use the word awesome, hit the button and BAM! You've got a random synonym for awesome. Now I admit I'm not expecting you to build this exact button, but I did want to show you how easy it is to build your own custom USB human interface devices, something that can act like a keyboard or a mouse or a joystick. Let me show you how I built the awesome button. I made my awesome button out of the Staples Easy Button. They're about $6, very sturdy, and very hackable. The core component is this microcontroller, called the Teensy USB. This is ideal for our project because this board can easily act like many different types of USB devices. And we can even program it with Arduino code within the Arduino development environment. And best of all, look how small it is next to an Arduino. It's even smaller than the Nano. In order to prototype this project, I added header pins to one of my Teensies so that I could easily breadboard with it. I connected a push button to ground and a digital pin. Then I plugged it into my computer to work on the code. If you want to use Arduino code and the Arduino development environment to program your Teensy, you'll need to install a couple extra things that are available at pjrc.com. The installers make it really easy. After you've done that, in the Arduino development environment, you'll need to select Teensy from the board menu and keyboard and mouse from the USB type menu. Let's take a quick look at our code. Here we have an array of strings, each of which is a synonym for awesome. Down here, when the digital pin 0 gets a low signal, that is to say when the button is pressed and it closes its circuit between that pin and ground, it randomly chooses one of the words in the array and sends it out over USB as a keyboard. This one simple line will do all the hard work. There's even a very simple function for mouse movements and mouse clicks. Looks like it works well. I think the hardest part of building this project was actually hacking up the hardware. Here's a quick overview of how I hacked up the Staples Easy button. First I opened the outer enclosure. On top there's a circuit board with the button. We're going to ignore most of the electronic circuit in the Easy button and just use the button component in it. After you remove this layer of plastic, you can remove the speaker. You'll need that space for the Teensy and the USB cable, but you can use that speaker for another project. I marked off where I wanted the USB cable to come out and I drilled a hole there. I originally thought there'd be enough space for the Teensy where the speaker was, but I ended up needing to cut a slot in the battery compartment and I pushed the Teensy through. This minor setback actually has a silver lining. I can now easily access the Teensy's reboot button through the battery compartment door if I need to. I then soldered wires between the switch and the Teensy's digital and ground pins. So I'm never going to get the USB plug through that tiny hole, so I cut the end off, threaded it through, and then reconnected the wires. You could also solder the wires directly to the Teensy, but I wanted to play it safe. Be sure to test it out before you pack it up. Looks like it works well. Getting the whole thing back together is a little tedious and takes a little patience. Be sure to test it out one more time before you put the last four screws in. And then that's it. You've got yourself an awesome button. Now as I said, not many of you are going to want to build this exact button, but maybe there is a custom USB device you do want to build. Perhaps a Minecraft controller, or you could take an NES controller and turn it into a Flickr browser. If you do have a great idea, leave it in the comments. I'm sure your idea is... incredible.